Hi guys. Um, before we actually run this projector, we're going to need three phase to run the ballast. So in this video, we're going to build a phase converter. Um, to do this, you need a three phase motor. This is a uh, originally a ball door motor rewound by Universal Rewind Limited, 15 horsepower, 240, 80 volts. This should do quite appropriately. Um, one thing we have to do is figure out the wiring because it's not labeled, and I think it's configured for 480 volts right now. Uh, and I've, I've, I'll just draw up a quick diagram here so we can uh, see how this is uh, wired. Okay, these three-phase motors are wound pretty simply. For this one that is dual voltage, uh, double the voltage, and has nine wires coming out, um, they simply reconfigure the coils as either series for 480 volts or parallel for 240. So three of the wires coming out are just one pair of coils and a Y, and the other six wires are six individual or three individual coils. So right now with these we saw three sets joined together, which are those, and the three individual wires are from the three uh, separate coils. So we need to reconfigure it into this configuration. We're just taking the tape off this thing and the uh, Looks like they never bothered soldering these connections. These are all just twisted together and taped over and they're burnt up, so no wonder this motor was thrown out. <clears throat> okay, now that we've got these disconnected, we'll have to figure out which ones are the uh, one with the internal Y point. So I just need to grab onto want to see if it has continuity. Okay, now that we've got all these uh, terminals marked off, we can now simply rewire it for uh, 240 volts. Okay, we've got it temporarily wired up for, back to 480 volts, just for testing, and we're going to connect it to uh, 120. We've got uh, oh, it's just about 120 microfarad capacitors uh, connected to it. Here we go, three, two, one. A little bit, see if we can spin it up. Nope. Might need more caps. You have more in there? Okay, hopefully this will work better than the uh, previous attempts. Um, after looking, researching it a bit more, uh, looks like I uh, found recommendations for using about 50 to 100 microfarad per horsepower as a start cap when starting a three-phase motor like this. So that would be 750 to 1,500 microfarad, which I just don't have right now. So I've reconfigured these as uh, run capacitors. Uh, these one, let's see. They recommended something around 12 to 15 microfarad per horsepower, so that's around 200 uh, across each of the uh, phases that are not uh, connected to the line. I also got a proper, a reasonable, reasonably proper way of spinning the motor up. Um, yeah, so we can spin this up and see how it does. Now 
just at the speed. And let's see if I plug that into the Variac. And I've also got uh, I've hooked it up, hooked up the three phase outputs to the uh, projector's power input, although the other end of this the ballast is not plugged in. I've also got three transformers here uh, to monitor the voltage across each of the three phases. Those are connected to oscilloscope probes. And the oscilloscope set up over here so we can see the uh, three phase output. And I've calibrated each uh, transformer and probe so we have an accurate uh, reading of the voltages. Now, with any luck, as we turn up the Variac. Aha! The phase has been tripled! Now we have three phase power. Um, a bit unbalanced. That uh, channel one yellow is the input to the, the across the uh, where the mains input is connected. We're getting about 70 volts, about almost 90 volts on the other two. So I think that means the capacitors are a little bit too big. Basically, the more capacitance you have, the higher voltage you get. So we need to reduce those a little bit. I'll remove some of the caps, and we'll try this again. One other interesting thing I notice is if you pull out the plug from the Variac starts producing voltage. So it's an induction generator. If you plug it back in, it'll short it out and stop it. Okay, I took 80 microfarad out of it, so, uh, so now it's at around 100 microfarad per phase, and balance is quite a bit better now. Um, if we go to 120 on input, we get 128 and 122 on the other two phases. That's probably good enough. And I think uh, when it's loaded down, the other phases are going to drop as well. So I think this should be good enough. I've added a 240 to 208 step down transformer here. This is from the uh, uh, Thermotron temperature chamber. Uh, cleaned up the caps. So this should be ready for a test at 240 volts now. Okay, time to try connecting the 208 volt three phase power we've got to the uh, ballast. Uh, the lamp is disconnected, so hopefully the ballast will just uh, power up and blink some lights. Here we go in three, two, one. Okay, that looks good. V and OK. I'd say that's pretty good. Let's just have a look at how that startup waveform uh, looks. Looks like the voltage rose up a little bit after starting. It's not too bad. Took a few cycles. Although the green phase doesn't seem to be actually supplying any power. The little voltage is a bit low. Go back a bit farther. Yeah, I guess now that it's charged up the um, caps fully, the voltage has gone up a bit. We're getting 228, 220, and 227. That's not too, too bad. Probably good enough. Yeah, now we've got to put the lamp in and actually uh, try it out under some real load. Okay, I think that's enough for tonight. Uh, next time we'll actually put the bulb in and give it a try. So, thanks for watching.